Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We're in episode five of Creating the Perfect Calorie Deficit. And Adam, we left off discussing me getting down to that metabolic set point phase where things are definitely gonna slow down, probably not gonna see the same kind of body fat loss on the scale every day. You may see skin fold measurements go down or in body or DEXA testing you know, continue to move forward, show progress, but just not quite as much. And that's okay because there is so much less body fat on your body. If you, if you lose a half a pound at that point, being 20, 25 pounds less, that's, that's almost like losing a full pound you know, two or three months ago. So let's talk about, as you said, just that grind. You're there, you're hungry, you're in a calorie deficit now, entering your third or fourth month. You're, the, the, the finish line is in sight so how do we keep progressing? Because we still have some cardio in our back pocket. You've still got a lot of carbohydrates in my diet. Uh, we, we have enough time. You know, hopefully you and I as, as coaches and nutrition practitioners would have allowed enough time. And so we, we can go into even the fine tuning phase of this. But what's your next move in terms of just making sure I can push forward and get to that winning condition? Yeah, and this is a great example because uh, calories are still relatively pretty high. And I would say for me in this situation, you're still not doing a lot of cardio by any means. And I kind of like that because that's more time you have to meal prep and do your workouts and just kind of focus on hard training in the gym and not what you have to do afterwards. So I, in this particular case, would definitely go with another nutrition move. And I think we could probably leave that protein right there because it seems like things are going pretty well. We're progressing well. And like I said, we have that surplus of calories. Well, it's still a deficit, but we have a lot of calories to work with. So why not bring those down a little bit? So we could probably go at a dead even 200 carbs and fats down to 40 and make some really nice fine-tuned pro progress there. We can always have cardio in our back pocket. At this uh, fine-tuning phase or the, um, I'm sorry, the set point phase where the grind is here, uh, I might be leery of adding more hit because energy levels just aren't going to be there to really facilitate that as well. So I'll probably move to maybe some more steady state cardio. I know a lot of people still think HIT is the golden ticket and the only way to go. But oftentimes in the set point phase, energy levels are low. It's really hard to do HIT effectively or just add a lot more of it. We also have to realize recovery is going to be slower here also with calories being lower. So I'm probably going to lean towards steady state just a little bit more at this phase. So without even knowing my history, because I, I truly have not competed in 16 years, uh, I, have a, I have a binder this thick of all my contest preps from the time I was 20 all the way up to almost 40. Um, I, I was almost calorically exactly where you put me at, but I was still competing in the era where all the research on protein utilization was not quite as, as complete as it is now. So my protein levels were typically around 200 to 225 grams, even as high as 250 sometimes, which is hitting four to five times the RDA. Uh, and I would typically have to bring my carbs down to maybe 125 or 150, and my fat would be about where you said, you know, trying to keep it as low as possible at that point, so around 40 grams. And so with just an even exchange of protein for carbs, you, you have given me what I need for protein and more of that buffer for uh, protein sparing and, and metabolic enhancement from the carbohydrates. So that would have been a great chance for me back then to see if that would have made a difference. But calorically, you know, you got me under 2,000 calories a day now, and that is exactly what it always took for me to get the job done, to get all the way down, you know, to 4% body fat or so. And, and my best contest weight was always really around 150, 155 pounds. So I think you've really nailed that with some good introspection on even the cardio and why to keep just a little bit of high intensity work in there, but focus more on the moderate than low. So well done, Adam. I think you're going you're gonna to get your diploma from the National Academy <laughs> of Metabolic Science doing a great job here. And you guys, stay tuned. We're going to wrap this up in one more episode so you know how to keep 
building and creating and morphing the, the best calorie deficit for yourself or your clients.